what'd you think of the live action Lion King? It was good, but the original was really good too. You know, The Lion King would be a really different movie if it had a laser pointer. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> Pride Lands of Africa would never be the same. Oh. Hey Scar, follow the dot. There you go, kitty. Hey kitty. Larry. Ooh, watch out for Larry. that tree. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Larry. Aw, poor kitty. Larry. What? Your controller is alarming. It's a hazard alarm. The heart symbol is on. The pump is off. You're feeling dizzy and weak. Go. Okay, I am going to sit down because if I am feeling dizzy, I don't want to fall down. I'm going to remove my spares kit and I'm going to set it down with the card on it visible. If anybody's around, I'm going to tell them to call 911. I'm going to tell them about this card that has special information on it. That information exists because I have an artificial heart and I need some different care. I'm going to attempt a controller change. I explained this to the bystander as well. There's a number on that card. Have 911 conference that in. At the end of that number, there is a doctor that will explain all of this and help the paramedics and everybody involved with any special treatment I need. I've removed my spare controller. I'm setting it alongside my existing failed controller. Now it's no good to power up an artificial heart with a controller that doesn't have power. So I am going to power up my spare controller first of all with my spare batteries. I'm going to line these two devices up so they match. I'm now going to remove my drive line. I'm not actually going to remove my drive line because that is dangerous and a patient should never do that if it isn't an emergency. If I were going to, I'd press this red button. I'd pull my drive line out and I would insert it lining up the index marks into the hole in the spare controller. I would push it till it clicks and then I would be able to move this latch back. If it went all the way, I was successful. If it didn't work, I'd try again. I'd move it back. I would be successful. I turn over the controller, check the display. The display says that everything is okay, that it's operating. I feel better. I'm done. Two minutes and 23 seconds. Good job. Seven yeah. seconds faster than last time. I can live with that. Recently, my team at the hospital asked me to come in to replace the backup battery in my controller. So controller battery charge. Yeah, so we'll get you to plug into the power module and then that way you sure. can see um, how many months you have left on your internal backup battery. Sounds great. So these have an expiry date that's chronological, it's after... Uh, yeah, so if you look on the box, it'll tell you exactly okay. so. I think this one looks like it was manufactured <coughs> January 29th of 2019. Okay. Yeah, and it has a shelf life until December 29th of 2020. Okay. Yeah. So if you were part of a bad team uh, or a bad program that wasn't as organized as you guys, you might want to uh, yeah. stay on top of this. Exactly. These things. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, we try and monitor how long patients have left. You're obviously very on top of it as well, so. Um, it doesn't hurt to keep two records. That's right, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so as you can see on the monitor, it says replace backup battery. So okay. what that means is that's just the controller internal battery. Okay, um, so now if you had an old controller that didn't have the current firmware update, it might alert you. Exactly, yeah. So most likely it would be an advisory alarm or a yellow wrench alarm. Okay. Um, in that situation, you would just reach out to the VAD team or your team, wherever you are, okay. um, and then they would be able to bring you in 
Um, obviously, you're still powered up by your external power, so your batteries or your wall power. Um, but yeah, there has been instances where it's alarmed, um, and sometimes the patients don't know exactly what that alarm means. So oh. we always say just contact, contact so. the VAD team. Okay, yeah. that, that was my understanding, was they had, uh, they had set it up now so that only you see the alarm because yeah. there was some confusion. Exactly. It's not yeah. an emergent situation where no. you have to uh, where you have to attempt to control or change on no. your own. No, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so Dan's just gonna, just gonna pop off this cover here. So will this produce an alarm when we disconnect the battery? It might, yeah, it depends how fast Diana is. It'll just beep, um, you might be able to hear it. But again, your pump is being powered by right. your external battery, so either your battery or the wall power. Mm -hmm. I always like to hook up patients to the monitor when I do it so that I can actually see the switch over and it, it kind of gives me a check to make sure that battery is engaged okay. uh, properly. That's some, I know something we had discussed uh, recently was the idea of charging your uh, spare equipment. Yeah. It's yeah. something that's not often mentioned, but it isn't a bad idea. That's right, yeah. I mean, we, we tell patients things when they're discharged, but there's so much information. Um, usually that's something that patients forget about, but you should be checking um, the charge of your backup battery, or so your backup controller, and um, all you have to do is you just have to plug it into either two battery, um, battery clips with batteries or to your AC power and um, it'll either bring up on the screen that your backup battery is charged or that it's charging. Um, okay. So if it's charging you just leave it attached for a couple hours. About two hours? Yeah, yeah. Oh, two to four depending how empty okay. it is. And it'll then indicate it, when you put exactly. through the Yeah, messages. once it's once it's fully charged and then it says backup battery charged and you can just disconnect it from your power source. Yeah. Is the way I see it, if I had to do an emergency uh, controller change, um, you don't want to make things more complicated than they need to be. And That's be right. A good yeah. idea. That's with all of with all of what's going on, I mean, you wouldn't want to leave it without two batteries. Yeah. But if something untoward happened, it'd be nice to know that the internal battery is there. That is that's what it's did. there for. Yeah. Okay, trying to align the switch. See, it is hard to see. Yeah. Oh, don't panic. Oh. Don't panic. This one you'll have to so the arrows. Oh, the line there. Yeah, there, there you go. Yeah. Another interesting bit of trivia. I understand that this internal battery will carry the uh, pump for 15-ish minutes. That's right. But it will sure. not start a pump that stopped. Yeah, so it takes, um, and it, it varies per each pump because there's two di two different type of pumps on the market, right? Okay. There's a Heartbeat 2 and the Heartbeat mm -hmm. 3. Okay. Um, but yeah, it does both pumps, more so Heartmate 3, require quite a bit of power to actually lift that motor and okay. then start spinning. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, the um, the idea and um, the awesome thing about Heartmate is that it does have that emergency internal backup. So um, if you are in a situation, what I've seen is that, um, you know, patients are in a rush, they're trying to disconnect from wall power to battery, and then they both. accidentally, we call it double disconnect. Yep. So yep it will alarm and it will kind of freak them out because it's a very loud alarm which is probably a good thing yeah yeah exactly but <laughs> um but the pump is obviously yeah. still running yeah. so um so that's a really nice feature um that heartmate has with both the heartmate 2 and the heartmate 3 pumps um is that that 15 minutes of backup um ideally we don't want anyone to to sort of use that on a daily no. basis right no. we train you you hope when, when it screams at you yeah <laughs> done badly exactly but i know yeah. i found a couple of uh, accounts on the internet from uh, the early generation of controllers before it was what they called a pocket controller yeah. with, the, with every coming everything coming out of one side yeah. those didn't have a backup yeah. and there's some very frightening stories about someone who had actually done that and started to feel faint because yeah. the pump actually stopped was that, yeah yeah no, it's a it's a great feature that they introduced or an easier way to put this on yeah you kind of have to i'm putting a new one on because the other one kind of yeah. it's probably a good idea i almost have to look you can fill it with lint again <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. there we go 
I have to give it some muscle. Yeah. Beat it against the concrete floor. <laughs> Pretty much. There you go. Excellent. So, awesome. yeah, so on your monitor, so 32, um, yeah, 32 months. Okay. Yeah. Sounds great. So you're good to go. Now you have, um, you have uh, the serial number of that battery. And yeah, so we collect what? the sticker and we put it on Perfect. our chart, to your chart, and then. Okay. What I'm going to do, just just for myself, mm -hmm. because I'm a geek about this, is yeah. uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to grab a picture of that, and then I'm going to have Perfect. a record yeah. of the expiry date of the battery, the date of installation, sure. the serial number, and I can oh, put this all sure. in my extra geeky spreadsheet. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm just that guy. Um, so and it, again, it doesn't really hurt to have more than one set of eyes on this. That's oh, right. yeah, like even sure. when I'm laying out my meds, I mean, I'll lay them all out, you know, and it's a, it's, it's a, a, a matrix of, of little colored pills, you know, yeah. and then I'll go down every, everything on the list afterward. And if somebody talks to me during that time, I go back, I start at the top of the list mm. and do I physically, do I actually remember putting each one in there? Yeah. yeah. And it's just, you know. Checklists Checks. are great. Absolutely. You know, you're a diver. I'm a diver. Yeah. <laughs> you know how that stuff works. Buddy system, right? Okay. There we go. And it's got everything. Expiry. Yeah, the expiry is on the oh, bottom. This one will be here. But that one's, cool. a, I mean, it's probably the same information, but That's reference fine. number and stuff. It's not like it has, not like it uses film. <laughs> Perfect. That's right. Awesome. Sounds great. Well, thanks for coming in. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thanks for the explanation. No worries. All right. Well, we probably won't see you for a couple months yeah, because you're so stable. Yeah, I think so. Six month. Uh, oh, that's, that's a wonderful thing. Yeah. 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 That's awesome. awesome. All righty. I got a hunch that I'll be talking to the doctor about uh, about diving again. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> we can always schedule in for another um, another uh, clinic. The other thing, I'll let you know about the backup battery. So it'll take some time to charge it yes. as well. So it'll Good say point. backup battery charging. Obviously, there is a little bit of juice in there. So if you were to come into an emergency situation, um, I think you would still have a little bit. But just note that it, it will charge as soon as you plug it in. So obviously, you're on batteries or wall power. Yeah. Yeah. And I can probably, if, if I know when these would normally go dead, I can probably ex expect a little bit shorter battery life the first time from these as yeah, it charges that. I'm sure because it's Cause draining it's, from there. Yeah. And, yeah it's like exactly. charging your phone off the, yeah. the, yeah. the thing. Yeah. Yeah. Off of your computer. Yeah. 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 Okay, thanks. Hey, thank you. Hello. Hey, how's Rita? Good. You tried to kill me as usual. What's your bad? It's at the gym. I gotta go.